Good morning everybody, it's Thursday the 2nd of August and no court. There was no court yesterday, I stayed in, um, didn't go to see Alfie. There was a lot of stuff I needed to catch up on at home, washing and such like and did a bit of baking for Alf and um, I should be going this morning. Um, also today, hopefully if it doesn't rain, um, I'm going to go to the optician because I need some new specs. The others are absolutely useless. The lens, keep, lens keeps falling out and the other pair, um, I don't know, there's something gone wrong with the, uh, the arm on them, but they're old. I haven't been to the optician in about five years, so I need to go <coughs> and um, have my eyes tested and get some new specs, a couple of pair. Also, I need to get the dental appointment. I still have root canal work, um, which needs doing, and you can probably hear the lisp because of problems still in my mouth. Um, so I need to get that root, root canal work done and either um, the back tooth taken out, it's not hurting me, but it's gone right down, either taken out or a crown put onto it. So those are the things I'm going to get sorted out this week. Um, optician, hopefully, definitely, and the dentist just get an appointment maybe for next week. Um, the court case. It was supposed to be finished on Tuesday. It isn't. It's not going to be finalised until October, the end of October. Um, I, I hope. That's because of all the holidays that everybody has got in between and they've had to, the lawyers, barristers, have had to corroborate diary dates. Um, I still can't say too much about it, but I can say a couple of general things. First of all is the obvious one I've mentioned before. Ensure you know how much, if anything, um, it's going to cost you over and above what you can afford. Because, and then you have to balance out whether taking somebody to court is worth it. Whether you're likely to win. Um, am I likely to win? Are we likely to win? I don't know. I did say last week, Thursday I was extremely hopeful. Friday, not so much. Monday and Tuesday, we gained ground. And I'm hopeful again. <laughs> um, I don't know what the verdict or the judgment is going to be, of course, and that is up to the judge, not up to the lawyers or the barristers. Um, but I will say that, in a way, validation has already taken place for the fact that this has gotten to court after four and a half, going on five years, the fact that it's gotten this far, been listened to, so much time and money has been spent on it, um, and I have validation for the wrongs that were done. There's no getting away from the facts that wrongs were done. Be prepared also when you are on the witness stand to be hammered in cross-examination by the other side. I had two days of it, two days. And it's exhausted me. Um, and I know at, at the end I said, you know, I'm not allowing you to put words in my mouth. I'm not. Um, and I did say, mm, whatever you say, it was at the end of 
hours and hours of exhausting manipulation attacks by not one but two barristers they've got two um so the psychological factors are very real also be aware that they're going to bring their experts so you bring your experts or the lawyers and the barristers arrange for the experts now I had a very good summation by a senior psychiatrist who um, he does all sorts of things as well very well known very well thought of um, very professional very experienced he got up and he spoke on my behalf what he said was all true what he said was all factual it went on for quite a while and my barrister had already said to me if you find anything upsetting he's never said it before but on this particular day just quietly leave the court and I will give the judge a nod that I've suggested that if you need to you can um, I did have to um, memories were dredged up um, which um, I've tried so hard to put out of my mind and I had to leave the courtroom my son stayed in and listened but that went extremely well for us then the other side had a woman a psychiatrist who um, let's say she manipulated the truth um, I can't say much more than that right now during her um, summation I also left the courtroom having gone back in I left the courtroom for a second time because um, what she was saying was not exactly true and it was like character assassination and I think you know when you've got something <coughs> excuse me a sec <coughs> when you've got something ongoing and particularly like this court case where facts are facts and the only way the other side are going to win is going to be on points on an expert falling down as one of our experts did a little um, but not on truth facts are facts the truth is there and when the truth can't be manipulated and the other side are against the wall they will have no compunction in overstepping that mark into attempted character assassination with me <coughs> I can't tell you a lot I can tell you something with me their psychiatrist was saying um, things couldn't have affected me that badly it still couldn't be in my mind and dredging up PTSD which it does which is why I've tried so hard to put things out of my out of my head 
She said, I couldn't be suffering from that. Reasons? My um, mode of dress, I turned up, she said, I was impeccable every day. She was there for three of the days, two and a half of the days while I was being questioned, simply to observe me, I now know. She said, because I was impeccably dressed and turned out, I couldn't have been suffering from PTSD or depression or stress. Because I had two and a half days on the witness stand and was very articulate and put my case well, I couldn't have been suffering from stress. Otherwise I would have been in a heap. That my hair was tidy and brushed, you'd expect somebody suffering from depression and distress to be unkempt in their attire, in their general look and hygiene, in their manner of speech. As I say, um, attempted character assassination, and I think that, in my eyes, um, it said more about the woman than it does about me. Anyhow, that's where we stand. We, um, it's going to be October now, the end of October, before um, a judgment, a submission from the barristers, and a judgment is made. But um, I feel that It's been validated, what happened. Can't get away from it. I don't lie. The truth is the truth. And when it comes across on a witness stand or in a statement, it really doesn't begin to tell how bad it was. But I know how bad it was. I'm grateful to my lawyers and all the admin staff and the barrister, extremely grateful um, for working so hard on my behalf. And I sort of needed this litigation to go through, needed the court case, needed to be heard, finally. Please pray that the judgment goes in my favour. It's important to me that it does. It will be further validation. Any um, payout, um, you know, is going to be shared. Alfie, the children, some in the bank for security, but it's not going to be a lot, I don't think. Um, but please pray for me that the judgment, after all these years, is fair. And fair means coming down on my side. Because everything I've said is true. Okay, my loves, I will be back when I can. Busy day ahead and I'm up bright and early and haven't messed around with um, just reading or catching up on YouTube. I've um, been very on the go all morning so the house is perfect and um, I've got the rest of the day to see Alf and, and do what I need to do. So I'll be back when I can. God bless everybody. Bye bye.